Hi everyone and welcome back to another Manny Monday. Some more spring nails. And I love the way this set turned out. If you're new to this channel, go ahead and subscribe. Hit the notification bell underneath that so you're notified whenever I upload a new video. Share around this channel to help it to grow. And definitely shoot me a thumbs up. Let's get started. Happy Monday, everyone. Great to see you. And as always, great to be in to share some more spring nails with you guys. But for starters, as always, we're going to do our words of Jesus for women. What? Always putting God number one. All right. Today we are on the high road. Matthew 5, 25 through 26. Settle matters quickly with your advisory who is taking you to court. Do it while you are still together on the way or your advisory may hand you over to the judge, and the judge may hand you over to the officer, and you may be thrown into prison. Truly, I tell you, you will not get out until you have paid the last penny. And it goes on to say, Jesus is all about healthy relationships. You hear that often in his teachings. Settle differences with people quickly and calmly. How? Swallow your pride and take the lead to talk things out. You know that when you ignore problems, they grow bigger and bigger, which will take a lot more time and energy to solve. Take the high road, which is the road Jesus modeled, and settle your differences calmly. Well, it says it right here, you guys. We are supposed to really, you know, settle our differences. When you are fighting with somebody, if you are able to make amends with somebody, be the bigger person and make amends. Try to, you know, to calm the road. Like it says, take the, the high road you know, be the, be the bigger person, you know, be the bigger person. And if you can't, and you've tried, well, you know what, Jesus will settle it then. You've done your part, you've done what you could, and you can only do so much, right? But try, we should always be kind and loving to everybody. Like I always say, be gentle, be kind, be loving, be the bigger person, be the one to, you know, make amends with somebody. Um, and just, you know, try not to fight with people. Jesus always wanted us all to get along. And of course, we live in a world where many people fight, Many people, you know, argue with everybody. They don't want to get along with anybody. Everybody's mad at everybody because we live in a time, you know, our time right now is limited. We know Jesus is coming back. We can tell the devil is really trying to corrupt the world. Everybody against everybody. I mean, in Matthew, I believe it is 24. I think it is Matthew or Mark, Mark 24. I believe it is, um, all of 24. I think it's Matthew. I can't remember you guys. I'll, I'll put it after this video or I'll just throw it on the screen right here. Um, but it talked about that, that kingdom against kingdom, nation against nation. That's what's happening. Everybody's against everybody. Let's not be like that. Let's live for God, read his scripture and honor it and be good to everybody. And if there is a fight, try to be the bigger person, make up with the person, be kind. And if the person doesn't want to make up, well, at least you tried, right? And that's what he's saying right here. Take or the high road, you know, and that's what you want to do. Down below, it says peace and conscience is nothing but the echo of a pardoning mercy. William Gurnell. Oh, that's really good, you guys. I like that. So, yeah, just be good to everybody. I know it's hard sometimes. It really is. But, you know, when you are, God's going to just, you know, bless you abundantly. He is. He's going to see what you did and he's going to do for you. He's definitely going to help you, um, especially when you're being the bigger person. He's going to help mend that relationship. And if it just doesn't because the devil is you know, takes over, even though God is bigger, God doesn't make us do anything, but the devil does. The devil likes to come in and still kill and destroy. He'll ruin anything that he can, especially when you have your salvation, he's going to try to ruin everything. So just try to get a great, you know, relationship with the Lord and, you know, reading his scriptures and you're going to find yourself being a much kinder person and good to everybody. I try to be good to everybody. I'm sure that there's people out there that don't like me or, you know, but, you know, I try, I try to be kind to everybody. I don't like to talk about people behind their back because I know it's wrong. I don't like to judge anyone because how can I judge anyone? I don't live in a brick house. I live in a glass house just like everybody else. So I try to be kind to everybody. But, you know, sometimes it happens. We're not going to have everybody love us, right? Not, I mean, if they didn't even love Jesus and he was perfect, he had enemies that hated him or whatever, but he tried. He tried to be kind to everyone. Start your day, go through your day and end your day. Sorry, my lips are dry. 
End your day with life's manual, the Holy Bible. Read it, study it, and get a great personal relationship with Jesus. He loves you. He died for you. You know, become his best friend, and you'll feel so much better. I've been spending so much time, like I said, every morning with sleep in my eyes, yawning. I'm talking to God. I'm putting him number one, and I end every night with him, too. And I've been doing the 90-day challenge, and I love it. I love reading his word and honoring it and learning and growing and just trying to do as much as I can and teaching and trying to be like a disciple, like he says here, you know, to talk to other people about it. That's what we need to do. Like the one I read not too long ago, I think it was in the Food and Fun Friday, I believe, or my Saturday video. Um, I talked about that where you need to, you know, um, be obedient and teach his word. It's important for us to do that too. So really pick it up, guys. Get your salvation. If you got it today, like I always say, write it down and know you are heaven bound. Write the date down and know where you're going. Sure, we'll have to answer to God for it. We'll have to answer for the things we did wrong. But thank God for the free gift of eternal life by the death of Jesus Christ. Thanks for that. You know, thank you, you know, Jesus for taking on the sins of the world. Just thank you so much for doing that for us because he paid our sin debt. We no longer have to earn our way into heaven. We can have it freely if we believe. So I hope you guys have your salvation. If you don't, try to get it. You guys know that, you know, if I'm wrong, nothing happens. You go under the ground and that's it. But if I'm right and I am, it's, yeah, it's devastating. There's no other chances after your time is up. So get right with the Lord today and be kind and loving to everyone. All right, you guys, let's get on to this beautiful spring look that I did. I did a tropical look, like I said, and it's just not showing on here the color. I really hate the color. It's showing it looks more like a fall color, but it's really pretty with the tropical flowers and everything. And I can't wait for you guys to see the Tootsie Tuesday toes. That'll match. And as always, the Wear It Wednesday that goes with the nails and the toes. Let's get started, everyone. Everyone take care. God bless. And I'll see each and every one of you in my very next upload. Hey everyone, so here's what I chose to go with for this week's Spring Manny Monday. We've done a gorgeous tropical look. If you'd like to see how I did this one, continue watching. Hi everyone and welcome back to another Spring Manny Monday. We've got this beautiful kind of orangey melon color. On here it looks pumpkin orange, but it's not. It's more like a pink orange. It's really weird why it's showing such an orange color on here. Hopefully I'll get some good photos again. I really hate when a camera shows such a different color than what I'm seeing. Again, it's got more of a pinkish orange to it and not a pumpkin orange. It's a very beautiful spring color. I've got some of them done solid and some of them done in a French look. And then we're going to be doing flowers. Let me go over all the supplies. All right, so for starters, here is the color here. Again, it even looks orange in the bottle here, but it's not. It's called Absolute Lot is the name and the numbers. Got this from Dollar Tree. And then uh, for the sheer ones, I made this just a sheer pink. Again, it was a clear color of the uh, Kiss Gel I got from the Dollar Tree. And then I just added in 20 drops of a baby pink, and that's what gives it that sheer color to do the French look. And then I dried everything up with the Sesh Feet Dry Fast Top Coat. And then we're going to be doing flowers. Now, I think I'm just going to do the flowers on these two nails, but I might add it on the French ones too. I'm not sure. You've seen the picture in the beginning, so you know what I did. But of course, I don't know until I get it done. I'll be using acrylic paints. We're going to go with this one here, which is a neon red. And it's really close to this color here. It's really weird because the neon red is kind of a pink, a pinkish, uh, I don't know, like a dark neon pink. And then I'm going to do this one here, which is a neon orange. I'm going to be using white, though, to bring these colors down. And then the apricot. And then this one called Sunny Day. But we're going to start the flowers off with white. And I'm going to kind of do them um, like a tropical-looking flower. And then I'm going to be adding the colors just going down the flower just to give it a beautiful tropical-looking flower. Uh, but like I said, I need to add white. And then I'm going to use white in some of these just to bring them down just a little bit. Give them more... Um, color because they're very uh, sheer until you add the white when you're working with um, neons. So you add a little bit of white to it and it'll help it so they're more opaque. So I'll be doing that. I'll be using Robin's brush, her wand, and that's right here. And you order it, RobinMosesNailArt.com. I'll link her channel down below and you can go right into her box, information box, and order. This is her liner and she has a striper which is called the uh, the Unicorn. And that one is a longer one. Just don't want this to Go back in here and push the bristles down. But she makes her own brushes. They're awesome. They're $10 a piece or two for 18 So it's a great deal. 
Then I will be adding in some clear crystals into the center of the flowers. I'll be gluing them down with the uh, brush on glue got from Sally's. I'll link everything down below. Um, I don't know if I'm going to do this, but I might add a little sparkle maybe to the nails if I don't do flowers on them. If I do, um, I think I'm just going to skip this then. And then we're going to top it off with the Sesh Feet Dry Fast Top Coat again and make this a nice shiny look. So I'm going to get started on these beautiful, like kind of melon, I would say a dark melon pinkish uh, orange is what I've got going here. It is not pumpkin orange. That's what it looks like. Hopefully the photos will show. But anyways, okay, I'm going to get started on those flowers and I will come back in and show you guys. We'll start with them being white. And so I did decide to do the flowers just on the two center nails. And as you see, they're more like a tropical looking flower. I started them off white and we're going to add color to them. Don't worry. The other ones, I think I'm going to glitz them up with glitter or rhinestones or something. I'm not sure yet, but let's go ahead and show you. Here's my palette here. And you see, I've got the white and then I mixed white into all the colors here that are going to be mixing with the flower. So first we're going to start with the white paint and we're going to do a full one up here. I'm going to do it up in this corner and then we're going to do a half one down below. So this one here, we're just going to set the brush down and kind of go up to one point and up to the other point, kind of how I do my leaves, but we want it to be like a tropical one. So you can also pull like the end down like that. And we're going to do a five petal here and they don't have to be perfect. Remember, this is a painting and we don't want it to look like a sticker. So just do it like that. When you come to the edges where it's not as long, don't worry. Just put it in like that. I'm going to turn it over to show you guys. Again, we're just put another petal here and it doesn't have to be perfect, like I said, because we're just wanting these to look like uh, just petals of a, like a tropical flower. And so some areas you can't get, you know, into the paint better. So like that, there's that one. And don't worry, that's perfect. And then we're going to go down in this corner down here and just do three petals. So we're just going to come up like again, kind of just one side to the other and kind of give it a little bit of a pull at the end there to give it more of that tropical flower. And then again, on this side, it's kind of like when I do my leaves, I just kind of bring it like that. Just you, know, you start off fatter and it gets skinnier as it goes up. So it comes to that point and I'll do one on this side. And again, the more it looks like a painting, the better. So there we go. So we've got the beautiful white flowers to start off with and that's what we want. And now we're gonna add the colors in. So I'm going to go ahead and add the colors. I did mess up this one here, Han. No biggie. We just add a little bit more white into this one because it got a little bit messed up. And a little bit into that one. So we're going to be covering it anyway, so it doesn't matter. And I'll clean off that spot off my hand. So it's just a little bit of acetone. I actually can do it right now. So I'm just going to dip a little cotton swab into the acetone. And then we're just going to wipe away just a little bit because it wasn't on the nail too far. So just clean it off there. There we go. All right. So let me get going on the beautiful colors now to make them look more like a tropical flower. All right. So now you see we've got these beautiful tropical looking flowers going from a yellow to like an orange to, well, starting with white in the center to that yellow to like an orange to a deeper orange and then to that pink. And it's so tropical looking. I think it's so beautiful. I love the coloration there. Now let me show you how I'm doing that. So we've got the nails white. So we just want to start with the lightest color. So we're going to go ahead and grab some of this yellow. And then all we do is start at the very bottom of the nail and just add in a little bit of yellow. Okay. Make sure that it is the lightest yellow. So if your brush has got paint on it, make sure you take that off. But it's okay if the colors kind of mix. That's not going to hurt anything. Okay. And then we'll go up to this one and do the same thing, starting with the yellow at the bottom, just going up just, you know, just a quarter of the way like that. All right, then wipe off your brush and go to the next color in line, which is kind of an orangey color, uh, yellowy orange, mustard yellow, I would say. Go to that color next and just go slightly up the nail again, but mixing the two colors together so that they get that uh, tropical look, you know, as flowers would look that way, they would change and shift in color as they're going up. So just go like that, then wipe off your brush and then go to this neon orange, which is that one right there. Okay, then we're gonna go slightly up the nail again with the orange, mixing it right into that mustard yellow. You want the colors to all kind of blend. So go right into it like that and overlap it, leaving room because you got one more color, that kind of pinkish color and so just go like that, mixing and blending like that. All right, and then we'll go to that pink color 
and we're going to do that at the very top. Just come up to that point at the very top, just getting it in there. And like I said, it doesn't have to be perfect. Don't, don't worry if you go out of the lines. That's not going to hurt because we want this to look, again, like a painting. So you just want that pink at the very end there, but blending with all the other colors. You know, that's what gives it that, that beautiful tropical look. Then right in the center, we're going to dip back into the white and just kind of give it a little bit, you know, just kind of do a little bit of dots like that around. So you're just getting the white in there. Even though we're going to put in the uh, crystals, that's okay. Just get a little bit of white going in there because that's just what helps it to blend and, and look so pretty when you put the color on the top. But isn't that pretty? So tropical looking, so spring looking. I love it. The colors are gorgeous. You guys aren't getting the real true colors though. Again, you're just not. I wish you could see the colors because this kind of looks almost fall-like. <laughs> this one does look fall because it looks like it's orange nails and just like the colors of fall. But it definitely is. I just wish you could see it good. It definitely is more um, tropical colors. Like I said, I hope I get a great photo at the end. All right. So now we're going to um, put the crystals in the center and maybe put glitter on these ones here. I think I want glitter on them and maybe a glitter, a little bit of glitter through the flowers. So let me decide what to do and I'll return. Okay, so I did decide to do the glitter on the French tip ones and glitter through the flowers. I did leave one open for you for both the flowers and the nail. But first we're gonna do is the uh, French nail. We're just gonna paint it, that's all you're doing, real simple, just paint on this glitter. And it's a beautiful glitter called Wonderland. I got it from Jaden, I think it, um, this one from Dollar Tree, I believe. I'll show it to you. It's just gorgeous, you guys. And it is definitely a wonderland of glitter. So I'm taking the same brush and just have some on it. And we're just going to go over the flowers. Again, it doesn't have to be perfect. Just get it as if it's kind of basically hitting just the flowers there. And uh, again, dip in again. And then just get a little bit for the bottom flower like that. And we're still going to put the crystals in. But you could leave it right there and it would be beautiful. I just hate how this one looks so fall like it is so funny but it, when you see it in person it's totally totally different all right let's get the crystals in you guys and then i will return to show you so now we've got the crystals in the center of the flowers and we're going to do it on this one i left this one open so we're just going to go into our brush on glue and we're just going to put a dot in the center of both of these even though this is a, just a half flower i'm going to do glue in both of them because i want a crystal in both and these are very tiny uh Swaski, Swaski crystals but I'm going with the biggest one in here. So we're going to grab the big one right there with the orange wood stick and set it down. Make sure though that, oh, see that one went the wrong way. You don't want it to go into the glue because it'll fog it. So I'm just going to make sure I'm grabbing the right size stone here. So we're going to set that down here right in the center so you guys can see. And then the half one, I'm just going to go with the next one down in size and just set that right there. So pretty, you guys. Oh my gosh, these are gorgeous. Again, they're so tropical looking and so spring-like. Yet on here, they look like they're fall, <laughs> fall nails. All right, I am now going to go over all of them. I do have the thumbs done just as a French too. I'm going to go over all of them with the Sesh Feet Dry Fast Top Coat. A nice thick coat. Go over your stones, pulling out any air pockets or air bubbles so that it looks good. And then I'll be back to show you guys the end product. And hopefully we'll get some great photos so you can see what it truly looks like. Alrighty, everyone, I am all done, and this is gorgeous. Love the way this one turned out, but I just wish you could see the true color, so I'm hoping I'll get some great photos of it. It is more of a melon to pink, like a deep melon to pink orange than more of this orange, like pumpkin orange. I don't even know why it's showing that, but it's absolutely gorgeous, and it's perfect for the spring. I love the tropical look, of course, you know, when you think of tropical, you think probably more of summer, but people still go on vacation during the springtime and the flowers are just starting to bloom and all of that. So yeah, it's just absolutely gorgeous. And I love the way this one turned out. I hope you guys do as well. Definitely have fun with art. Definitely give this look a try. Try it in your favorite colors. Everybody take care. God bless. And I will see each and every one of you in my very next upload.